Welcome back to the third quarter of the Bobby Dupre Show. And uh, I attended a uh, HBPA uh, meeting yesterday, board meeting, uh, over at uh, Prejean's restaurant right here in Karen Crow, Louisiana. And Big Lester, my longtime friend, was our waiter and did an excellent job. Uh, and there was about 15 people there to, to feed. Mm -hmm. And uh, he smoothly worked the crowd and that we kept our meeting rolling because we had a long agenda like we normally do. Mm -hmm. And uh, right towards the end of the agenda, it was brought up that uh, not a lot had uh, been, I guess, uh, advertised. Or, or, not much news coverage was given on the frog juice, horse racing's new doping scandal. Which blows everybody's mind. This thing came out of nowhere, that they figured out that they're taking these South African frogs that have a certain chemical in, the, in their system and using that as sort of a, a, a deadening agent, like, like a painkiller, to give to the horses. But then it also operates as an excitement. It excites them. So it knocks the pain out and then it gets them to feeling good. And uh, they, uh, the Louisiana State Racing Commission held uh, two days of hearings. And uh, there were eight people that were charged. And uh, the penalties were very, very uh, stiff. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, most of them were suspended for, say, uh, 10 years from training wow. horses. And when you are uh, suspended in Louisiana, that takes care of all of Louisiana and Canada, if, as I understand all, it. All but the United all, States. All of the United States mm -hmm. is right. The I don't states, mean Louisiana. They all have a reciprocal agreement that says if you penalize them, we'll, we'll uh, honor your ban. That's correct. Cool. And uh, I, saw, I saw where the... the chairman of the Louisiana State Racing Commission, who is a, a local uh, Lafayette uh, person, mm -hmm. and I'm speaking of uh, Jerry Moe. And uh, at the end of the hearing that day, he says, one of the darkest days in Louisiana horse racing, uh, the commission took a hard stance against eight trainers whose horses tested positive for demorphin at Louisiana racetracks this summer. Wow. And uh, there's... Uh, also, uh, horses that have been tested positive in uh, New Mexico, uh, possibly uh, Oklahoma, and they think Texas. See, Texas hadn't made any seems like revelations. It, it, it originally seems to have snuck in more on the quarter horse side is where it started, and then they worried about it getting in the whole thing. It, it was actually the first name I heard was a cartel boss mm -hmm. out of Mexico. Mm -hmm. He was coming in here and laundering money and uh, using this. Uh, Selling that. This had been used kind of what I'm hearing, you know, just like it not, you didn't see it in print, but uh, this medication was widely used and it was no way to test it. It took a chemist, uh, a lab over in uh, Denver, Colorado. To figure that, out how to, to test for it. To figure out how to test for it. Because it's a natural thing found in that frog, so. And uh, I'm told that they uh, kind of gave everybody a notice, you know, quit using this stuff. And some, I guess, wanted that little extra advantage that you said it gives. And uh, it, it we, we just want you to know, we're not going to name anybody. You, you can find that out on your own. But uh, we do have some kind of local people, people that are, are known in the, in the community, in, in the state of Louisiana. And, uh, yeah, that's where it says right mm -hmm. here. Right. Louisiana, Oklahoma, New Mexico, and regulators suspect its use in Texas. Right. And so uh, it is a bad day. That was my first comment that when I was called and I was told this, my first comment was this is a bad day because we have some people uh, up in Washington, D.C., in the Congress and the Senate that are really hell-bent on affecting our overall industry. And I understand we have some problems, but they're not trying to stop the Olympics because of drugging, that, that's mm -hmm. occurring. Well, sure, uh, sure. The, the drugging takes place in bicycling. Mm -hmm. uh, our sure. own Lance Armstrong being investigated had, had to, and everything. had oh, to yeah. give up all of his uh, uh, yeah. world championship titles. So uh, believe me, we do a lot of testing. Uh, you know, I guess the people don't hear the good 
testing that takes place. Louisiana is well, well uh, respected, I think, overall, but instances like this will occur in a business, and this is a big, big industry for Louisiana and horsemen across the world. Mm -hmm. How about some sponsors again? Let's go to Steamboat Warehouse. We were talking about Washington well, I was a minute ago. Up. I was warmed oh, no. up on well, well, yeah, it. It's, it's big industry. It's big industry. It's important that our area that it stays clean. And, and it stays clean and, 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 and people, safe. And, and, and safe because it's not just the horse that gets affected here. Let's forget there's a little 112 to 15 pound, 115 pounder that's handling this thousand pound of horse going down and the horse and that has leg some good. injuries but he's not feeling it until maybe right at the end and then bam, he Everybody falls over and then all the other jockeys in the oh, yeah. back of him, on the side of him are affected. You're risking so, everybody, sure. Sure. Steamboat Warehouse, get mom away from the smell of her own cooking. Go down to Washington and try the great crawfish etouffee, the shrimp Betsy, the stuffed filet of catfish, the crawfish pound matter, great Louisiana seafoods, great steaks there as well, the good Angus steaks that they've got there, the great wine selection, the, the mixed drinks that they'll make you from the uh, pickled Zotico in your Bloody Mary and enjoy it out on the wharf. You know, the weather's finally cooling off. You can enjoy yourself outside the Steamboat Warehouse. Tell chef owner Jason Hugay we said hi. In uh, Slemco's uh, Power Magazine, the mm -hmm. September-October issue, it says, beware this bill payment scam. All Slimco customers should be warned that a new scam is claiming that President Obama or the U.S. government is providing credits to pay your electric bill. Slimco customers have been contacted through flyers, social media, and text messages. Mm -hmm. This is not happening. So what they want to do when they get you, if you answer one of these messages, they're wanting your check number, mm -hmm. the, your routing number, the bank you have, and your social security Don't number. Don't give that up to nobody on the phone. Don't give that to anybody. Slimco's not going to call you to do any of the above things, so be careful. Thanks, Slimco, for passing this on, and hopefully we're reaching some of your customers. I know we are. Casa Ole. I'm a customer. Casa Ole, if you're looking to get a little bit, feel a little, what do they say, feel a little Mexican. If you want to feel a little Mexican, go to Casa Ole here in Opelousas and get all the great foods they've got. They've got happy hour from Tuesdays to Fridays from 4 to 7 p.m. Monster Margarita Mondays for two dollars a piece. Uh, you can get stuff to go from the food and the drinks as well. They got the nice drive through window. They got chimichangas, lunch burritos. You know, don't forget about them for lunch. Uh, don't forget about the great soups and salads if you're watching your weight. And if you're like me that you're not too scared about your weight, go for that smoking chipotle fajita. Excellent food. That's Casa Ole. Uh, Bo Will, if it's uh always sending us uh, material reference to boxing, both mm -hmm. on the amateur uh, level, which uh, his Rage and Cajun uh, Boxing Club is one of the best in the United States. And uh, of course, he, from time to time, and now he has some professional fighters that he also manages. His uh, latest uh, mail out, uh, or text message that, that I received, uh, referenced uh, Emmanuel Stu Stewart's ailments still undisclosed. And of course, uh, Tommy Hearns, uh, a world champion in six uh, weight classes, uh, was one of Emmanuel Stewart's uh, Boxes. top boxers. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Cronk Gym, everybody's heard, if you... If you, you box in Detroit, that was the place. Right, and in the last few years, you've been able to watch uh, uh, Emmanuel uh, being interviewed and being one of the announcer... Mm -hmm. uh, Commentators. Com Commentators, no. that's no. correct. So uh, keep him uh, in, in your prayers. Uh, he is a boxing Hall of Fame trainer. Brilliant boxing man. I mean, he is yep. sharp. And that's out of Detroit, Michigan. That's right. How and about they say that they think he, he's getting his treatments in a hospital in Chicago, probably mm -hmm. some special type of ailment that he has. Sears of Opelousas, if you want to go by to get your appliances, if you want to get your home and garden stuff or anything for your house, uh, go by Sears of Opelousas here on 901 Cresswell Lane. They're open Mondays through Fridays from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. And don't forget about the weekends, 9 to 6 on Saturdays and 11 to 4 on Sunday afternoons. A lot of times you're working in the yard, you're like, man, this weed eater, I'm just tired of fighting with it. Go by, they've always got the specials, the great craftsman tools there as well. 
well. You can go to SearsHometownStores.com online and pick up Lucy's out. You can order your stuff online, pick it up at his store, nice and easy. They've got mattresses as well and TVs there as well. It's not just a catalog store, it's a full-blown Sears store. Thank you all, Sears. I see where the St. Landry Parish Council mm -hmm. is working on a roads plan. And of course, that's, that's correct. And that's very, very good news. Let's hope that uh, they, along with the parish president's uh, organization, mm -hmm. uh, can uh, put their heads together and work up some type of uh, aggressive uh, road repair, road improvement plan. And uh, it may cost us a little bit of money to do this, but I can assure you that the returns will be tremendous. People People want to move to St. Landry Parish, just build them a road and they are going to build a home or a place of business. Good wanna, luck. I want to remind folks, the Rotary Club auction that's hosted here on KDCG every year is going to be on October 30th this year from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. It's way at the end of the month, but we're letting you know ahead of time. Start watching our website. We're going to start previewing some of the items that are going to be up for bid so you can see what you can bid on. Uh, uh, let's show some more photos. Okay, huh? we got a or, couple more. Yeah, yeah, yep. let's, let's do that. A couple that. more left. We, you went bar to Barney's and got your your, uh, your laundry while you were visiting over at Sunrise. That's correct. And then we've got uh, the guys uh, over in Eunice. Over in Eunice and right. uh, of course uh, it was raining Saturday and the place was full. They couldn't ride so they came yeah, in visit. to get their next ride. That's right. And a couple of uh, Eddie's uh, good friends, uh, uh, Danny Koch, and uh, on, on the left in the brown shirt and the red shirt is a relative uh, through marriage, I think it was, Ronnie Cotton. And Ronnie comes from out of state, maybe around Katy, Texas. Okay. And uh, Danny, of course, is a retired farmer. And uh, his business card is Koch Farms. Mm -hmm. And real nice, nice uh, two people. I really enjoyed my visit and uh, hope that they are uh, sitting by their computers watching the Bobby Dupre Show. Good morning to you all. And look at this. This was uh, Saturday afternoon after leaving uh, Eunice. And by the way, I'm heading uh, to, uh, what is it, Troop? Troop? Troop, Texas, I think. Troop, yep. Texas, uh, to pick up my Honda that's been triked out. Near Tyler, Texas. Near Tyler, area. right right, 15, 20 minutes from Tyler. You can buy your rolls while you're there. Uh, that's right. That's the oh, you shouldn't have said that. I was going to, I was thinking of buying it a might, rolls. But oh, it you might, broke, it you might, broke. It might mess up the flowers going in the wind oh, when you come back on your bike. Yeah, I'm coming trike. back on my bike. If everything works out right, I'm coming back <laughs> on the bike. So anyhow, when we left uh, Eunice, uh, that rainy, uh, cool weather, mm. uh, that was gumbo weather, went over to uh, Kelly's, uh, uh, meat block mm -hmm. and uh, picked up uh, a, an item that I think is kind of new but according to uh, Malachi the manager there he said that this Bellord Zotico Chop Chop uh -huh. is really catching on and quick. It's, it's dry seasoning and it's everything from minced onions and garlic and green bell peppers, red bell peppers, celery, onion tops and parsley flakes. Right and there. we used it and the gumbo was delicious and you see it's laying on a little uh, 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 like a bandana. Like a bandana. That's what it is. A bandana. For, for Targill. Targill. Uh, and supplies. that's their, that is their the logo. Company, right. So Targill's, if you want to go by to get all your seasonings, Targill can help you with all types of seasoning. If you ever buy it from just an individual all the way up to a restaurant, outdoor kitchen, maybe a store, they can sell you all your seasoning supplies and, and uh, butcher supplies, cutlery and kitchen supplies as well. Everything from, from you being a business to you just being a, a weekend cook. They can do it all. They can make your own recipes of seasoning blends. They can do one for you. They can do your own packaging, your own shakers of, of seasoning. Maybe you want to sell those. Maybe you want to give them out as promotional items. Call Targill or go to Targill.com. Now, we're going to have to take a commercial break for one minute on radio and TV. We're going to see you folks the other side of one minute.